So I want to discuss today a healthy approach to wanting and desiring more in life. Is it okay to desire more of what we have? When does it and when does it not create suffering? So all these things I want to touch base on and everything kind of stemmed from how I decided to relate to money. In my early 20s, one of the main sources of stress that I had was from my lack of money. I struggled to pay my rent. I struggled to pay for food. It was difficult for me to pay for schooling and just general expenses. And I remember telling myself, oh, one day when I have X amount of money, I'll be happy. If I had money to pay for rent, to pay for food without stress, knowing that I am able to pay for it, all my stress would be removed. However, that wasn't the case. As I grew older, I accumulated more and more money and the stress was still there. So my lack of wholeness, my lack of happiness clearly wasn't correlated to money, although it helps and it provides a person with a certain sense of freedom, but that's not the determining factor to one's happiness. So I remember asking myself, I said, well, I'm not okay with just settling and compromising with life and not seeking to grow and expand. That's not okay with me. But on the other end of the spectrum, I'm also not okay having my happiness being contingent upon my wealth. In other words, I'm only happy when I make a million dollars. So until I have a million dollars in my bank account, I am unhappy. And that was the case in my early 20s. I remember telling myself, well, what the hell? I'm not going to be unhappy during my process of accumulating a million. What if it happens in five years? What if it happens in 10 years? Does that mean I'm going to be unhappy for 10 years? That doesn't make any logical sense. So I had to work on myself extensively to understand that if I am content and happy and satisfied from where I'm at, then and only then is it okay to seek more money. But if you are not happy from where you are and you seek more money, you create dependence upon that money, then you will be unhappy. So logically, I understood that any of my stress and anxiety came only when I wanted something I didn't have. So at the foundation, at the base, I understood that step one was being content and happy where I am. In other words, do I have my health? Yes. Do I have clothes on my back? Yes. Do I have food to put in my stomach? Yes. Do I have friends and family? Yes. I have to tell myself if I was given nothing as of now, would I be happy? And you have to get to that place in order to healthily create more more income in your life because if you create income in your life from a standpoint of not being content and satisfied from where you're at then you're always going to be chasing 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 and you will perpetually be unhappy so i say it is okay to create more wealth for yourself only and only if you are content from where you're at if you are not happy from where you're at your process is going to be a very challenging and heavy one Now that was where it started, but I apply that with everything in my life, right? My ex-girlfriend, I remember her saying, Yosef, do you want me to wear makeup or do you not want me to wear makeup? And I told her, I said, makeup is beautiful, right? You're totally allowed to wear makeup, but you should only wear makeup from a standpoint of feeling totally beautiful and comfortable in your own skin. If you are wearing makeup to cover up insecurities, to cover up certain things you don't want to show to the world, then wearing makeup is not going to serve you. So only from the standpoint of understanding that you are beautiful, that you are perfect without makeup, only from that standpoint can you in a healthy way apply makeup and go out there and be sexy and confident in an authentic way, right? Another example, and I'm just using these little tiny cases that I apply these things in life because it's super important to take a theme in reality and allow it to mirror itself throughout all areas of your life. And so the same example goes with clothing as well. At the bare minimum, all I need to do is cover my body. As long as I don't go out naked in public, I'm okay. So I can go and grab a t-shirt from the garbage or I can dress in rags. But the question is, why do I not do that? Because I'm okay from where I'm at. Personally, I'm okay going to the Salvation Army and buying a thrift t-shirt and buying a, you know, a $1 pair of pants. If I'm okay wearing that, then I see it as authentic, as okay to wear more stylish clothing. I don't go outside not caring how I look. I go outside caring how I look because I'm okay going outside making a fool of myself. Does that make sense? I'm okay. Let me put it in other words. I'm okay dressing well because I'm also okay going outside and looking like a fool. I have some friends who are born wealthy and they won't wear anything other than Gucci or any designer brand, which limits them. It limits their power. From my standpoint, I can wear everything. From their standpoint, they can only wear from here and up. Nothing lower. 
Another beautiful example that just came to mind, right? Why is the minimalist happy with whatever they're given? Because they live in a minimalistic style. And so everything above their 200 square foot apartment is blessings. But the individual who was born in a 3,000 or a 5,000 square foot home sees anything less than that as garbage. And so it's this idea of being content and happy with what you have so that anything that's given to you extra is actually a blessing. So see where you can apply this in your life. Are you doing something to cover up an insecurity? Are you doing something inauthentically? Be happy and content from your position only from that point is it healthy to seek out more in life but if you are seeking out more in life to fill a void that cannot be filled from external things then you will unfortunately find yourself in an endless loop that's my message for today i say be okay with the bare minimum make love with the bare minimum be friends with the bare minimum so that everything else in life above that bare minimum is looked at as gifts and blessings from the world i love you guys and i'll see you tomorrow